CPS has done it again. They medically kidnapped a baby in Idaho. So here's the story. Baby Cyrus was exclusively breastfed by his mom, Madison, until about seven and a half months old when she started introducing solid foods. And when she started doing that, the baby started throwing up. So of course, she tried to figure out what was wrong with the baby, took him from doctor to doctor, from specialist to pest spe specialist, and no one could figure out what was wrong with the baby. The baby even got hospitalized at one point, so the hospital could do lab tests on him to try to figure out what is it that was causing this baby to throw up all these foods that mom was trying to introduce. And they could find nothing. The hospital even told the mom, this is the healthiest baby that I've ever seen. So they discharged the baby with his parents on a Friday, and they were supposed to follow up with the functional medicine of Idaho that following Monday, okay? So they went on Monday to the functional medicine of Idaho, they did the visit, and they, you know, they reviewed the baby and everything looked fine. And so they scheduled another visit for that Thursday, okay? Well, the Wednesday, baby started throwing up again. And so, you know, when they took him to the functional medicine of Idaho that Thursday, the nurse did a, a weight check and they realized that he had lost, I think it was like 1.23 ounces or something. So then the nurse ordered that they come back the very next day, that Friday, so that she could do a weight check, I'm guessing just to make sure that he wasn't losing too much. Well, the following day, when she was supposed to go back, um, mom wakes up and she is not feeling well. So she calls Functional Medicine of Idaho and she says to them, I am sick, I'm not feeling well, let's cancel the appointment. Um, and so that's what happened. So then the hospital tried to call her, I'm sorry, the Functional Medicine of Idaho tried to call her back, but she was sleeping when they called. So um, on March 11th, 2022, at about 10, 20 in the morning, uh, the nurse practitioner from Functional Medicine of Idaho calls CPS. CPS reaches out to the mom by text, and then they send two police cars out to her house. And they demand that her and her husband and the baby go over to the Center for Victims of Abuse. Well, the father of the baby says, no, I'm not going, okay? So after mom started feeling better, she thought about talking to a family friend who used to be a police officer because she was so just rattled by the fact that these police officers came to her house and asking to escort her to the place for victims of abuse. So her and her husband and you know the family, they go over to the family friends who used to be a police officer and they have dinner with them. And when they leave the house and they start going at home, they realize that the truck is being followed by the police. So they step out of gas station, the police stops them there, and then the police basically demands that mom lets baby go. So here's what happened at the police station. For what reason are you arresting him? Guys, For what they're trying to take baby Cyrus him? from us. My husband's getting arrested. No, I'm not moving. For what reason? What crime did I commit? 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 No, do you know? No, no Miranda, let them. Miranda. I'm getting out. Let me get out. Hang on. I will step out. Get out of the car. Try to get out of the car. Daddy's okay. Daddy's okay. Daddy's okay. Okay. Hey guys. No, I, I, I can't. Can you please help me right now? You don't understand. I, I'm, a, I'm a desperate mom right now. I, I really need your help right now. Talk to me. Talk to me, okay? okay. What, what are you desperate about? Okay. What do you need? All right. I can't be separated from him. I can't. Okay. I didn't do anything wrong. I know I didn't do anything okay. wrong. Here's the deal. This is a very big miscommunication. Why have you not taken him to the doctor today? I, I woke up not feeling well, and I didn't think it would be a problem to miss an appointment. Okay. I've but done that before. But you know that we've been looking for you guys all day. I, I have right? a reason to explain all that stuff, right? Okay. And we'll give you that opportunity, okay? Can you please well, we're going to take him, him to the no. hospital. And no. if you want to go, you can, can come. Can I ride with him, please? Yes, you can. Okay. okay. We'll get an ambulance here to transport okay. you. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do, though, is give me him. I'll let him back to you. I'll give him right back to you. You promise okay. me you won't let him but end my sight? these guys are going to make sure that you don't have you any weapons. You promise? I, I will promise. I stay right here with him. Okay. With you. Not out of my okay. sight. I will do that. Okay. But they're going to make sure you don't have any weapons or anything like that. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. 
sorry. What's your name? I, I can't let him go. I will stand right here with you. I promise. You have to take him from me. I okay. can't. Okay. I, okay. No, okay. no. No, no, no. Come here. It's okay. They're going to check and they will give him right back to you. I can't. I, I promised him, right him I wouldn't let him go. I will give him right back to you. Okay? But you got to promise me. Okay? You got to promise me. Okay? I'm going to be able to to you and that you can promise me you go to the hospital with me and him. We'll, you'll ride with him in an ambulance. We'll take you to the hospital, okay? You too. We, we're we worried about him. Make sure he's okay. I know. So come with us, okay? And let's take him to the hospital and get that checked out. Okay? Please don't. Please don't take him. I won't take him. I'll stand right here with you. Can I hold him while you do what you have to do? No, because they got to check you right there, okay? Can they check me while I'm holding Not him? Not with her, Please. I want you to drop I will stand no, no, right I know they can do it. I know they can do it. Please don't let me Come let go on. of him. Come on. Okay. 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 Put your phone down so that so that you can hold him. Watch, watch your step too. Don't don't. I'm just kidding. Okay. So here, please. I'm filming. So, so okay. I know you're filming. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Where are you filming? It's right here. Then Marissa was asked to enter the ambulance and she was promised that she would be able to go to the hospital wherever they're going to take the baby, that she'll be able to go with the baby. So she gets into the ambulance and this is what happens. There'll be a shelter care hearing, okay, on Tuesday. And that's that's a hearing you'll, that, that's a hearing you're going to want to go to, okay? The shelter who, who care makes, hearing. Who makes this decision? It will be at 1 o'clock p.m. Do you know who makes this decision? Uh, who makes what decision? That he has to go in the state's custody. Well, yeah. the, we have. You have? Based on what the doctors have told us. I, I can't, please. Okay? We go off of what all the information we can get from doctors oh, and, and, and all of that. I, I can't. I'm not going to leave him. I'm not. I'm not. This is this is how it's going to go, okay? No, do you, do you understand? He, just, he's my baby. I'm listen, not going to leave listen, him. Marissa, I'm trying to explain this to you, okay? So there will be a shelter care hearing on Tuesday at 1 o'clock, okay? And you're going to want to attend that, yeah. okay? And that's what that's what your part of this is, okay? That's your next step in this. We we have no, nobody wants to take people's children away from them. We want to get the child you, back to you, you in do. a healthy state. No, we want to make sure that kid is healthy. We want to get these kids healthy. Sometimes they, what, what are we doing? Oh, it's streaming. Oh, you're just okay. live streaming? Yeah. Okay. So, listen, um, here's my thing. It, I understand you want to you want to get him better. Why can't I be with him while you're doing the medical work? How am I in danger to him if I'm just watching and I'm with him? Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and go with just what I just told you, okay? So you're going to so take is, him? No. This, listen, no, this is what what we're going to do okay so this is this is your copy you're going to want this i, I can't i'm sorry i'm not going to leave him well this is how it's going to be okay I can't, I can't leave him thank you all right so marissa I, I need you to hand over the baby to the ent I, okay? I won't i won't marissa, i really don't want you me to go to jail tonight i don't but i'm telling you if you don't allow this to happen you're going to jail for how long that's not up to me but i i you will be placed under arrest if you do not comply with what we're asking you to comply with. So if you could please hand him over so he doesn't have any further harm for us having to try and take him away from you. You promised him I wouldn't let him go. And, and I understand that. And you'll have a chance to get him back at some point, okay? The state's all about reunification, but no, right but now, they're not. we need to move us. Okay? And, and I really don't want to have to forcibly remove him from you, but if that's the case, I will do that and you will go to jail. So you have one option at this point. You need to give him to the EMT and you can go on your merry way with your friends and your family who's out there. That's not merry at all. Or I remove him from you and you go to jail. You need to make that decision. You need to make it now, please. I won't let him go. Okay. Go ahead and jump out of the way for me. Okay, please let him go so he does not get hurt, okay? 
Come here, little buddy. Marissa, I promise I'll take good care of him. You promise? I promise I will take good care of him. Okay. So after they forcibly rip the baby out of mom's hands, okay, they handcuff her, take her outside of the ambulance, they pat her down, pat everything like she's a criminal, um, and so that's what happened. So they take the baby and they leave. The very next day, a man named Eamon Bundy, uh, which is a political figure in Idaho, and I couldn't be proud of being associated with the Bundy right now, um, but that's that's on his side. Anyway, so he goes to the hospital and he demands that they let the baby go. Well, he gets arrested and his arrest actually made national and even worldwide news. And so when the family realizes what's happening and how their friend is standing up for them, they got the courage to kind of send an alert out to everyone they knew and to ask for help. So what happens is the very next day, after this baby is kidnapped by the police, the very next day, 400 people show up at the hospital and they're protesting and asking, you know, for the baby to be released. And they came every single day for seven days. So the hospital got inundated with phone calls and emails and even some legislators who, um, I guess, cared about the outcome of this case. They were calling the hospital administration, they were calling the police department, they're calling DHHS, they were calling CPS, and they got so inundated by the negative attention that they were that they were getting that they decided to release the baby back out of the hospital and they gave the baby back to his parents after seven days but they basically said yeah we're giving the baby back to you but he's still you know the property of the state of Idaho I was so appalled to hear this story because as you guys know, in this video right here, this just happened not too many months ago in Florida where Amon Ra was also medically kidnapped and this unfortunately wasn't just a seven day thing, it was a few months where Amon Ra was out of the home, out of his mom's and his dad's care and put into foster care forcibly um, by the state even though mom was doing nothing wrong. So baby Sarah's mom, okay, um, her father, you know, the grandfather, he actually was interviewed by the Epoch Times. And I'm going to link the article in the description box for you guys if you want to go and read that article. But when he was interviewed, he basically talked about what he thought was happening after he did his own research. And he said he realized from doing his research that medical kidnapping is really what he calls state subsidized child trafficking, okay? And we understand that child, child trafficking is really the forcible removal of a child from uh, their parents uh, with the intent of selling that child for profit. And did you guys know that every single state in the, in the United States, when a kid gets removed from their parents' care, this, the federal government pays the state when the kid gets removed, okay? When the kid gets into foster care, they get a secondary payment. And then every single month that that kid is in foster care, the state keeps getting paid. So no wonder the grandfather is thinking this is state subsidized child trafficking, okay? Basically meaning the state is taking these kids, forcibly removing them from the parents' care without any real evidence proving that there's some type of abuse or neglect and they're getting paid for it. So in other words, the state is actually incentivized to forcibly remove kids from parents' homes when they don't really have a reason to. So I hope that this is really kind of making your blood boil right now as, as it is mine, um, because again, it's showing how foster care, the foster care system has so many issues that need to be fixed. And in my opinion, um, I think that the foster care system just needs to go away completely and that there needs to be something completely new to replace it. So in your opinion, what do you think? Would you call this medical kidnapping or would you call this child trafficking? Or in the words of the family's attorney, would you say this is actually medical kidnapping that could lead to child trafficking? Comment below and let me know. So what I really would love for you guys to take away from this story you guys is the real difference that you make that your voice makes those 400 people that showed up at the hospital the very next day to support madison baby cyrus and and his dad are the ones who made the difference the thousands of phone calls from you know activist groups and legislatures and all the negative attention they got is what really forced the hospital's hand to let this baby go and I just wanna encourage you that we have a voice and you don't have to let CPS run all over you. So if you're in that situation right now where CPS is threatening to take your baby, you're not doing anything wrong, baby has medical issues that you've been trying to figure out, um, you 
I want you to know that you can get help. Just let everybody know what's going on. You know, in this day and age, people are filming everything, putting on Instagram and Facebook and rallying people. There's even public interest groups out there who are willing to, you know, fight on your behalf, come alongside of you and do what they need to do. And so I would strongly encourage you to continue raising the alarm because as these cases start coming to light, it'll force the hand of the state to change what they're doing instead of these kids being medical kidnapped and then parents being traumatized with with their child about the state coming in and dividing families when their role is really to help keep the families together okay so i hope that this really encourages that you have a voice and that you make you can make a difference so if you guys haven't heard about amin ra's story Thankfully, he's home now and everything is fine. But if you guys haven't, go ahead and click this video right here and check out that next video. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.